across the forward line, but Burton Howell, the great experience of Burton Howell was too much then for Roy Hart. He knew the wind was going to hold the ball up, and he's driven it right back to the centre of the ground, where Paul Dederick flew in front of uh, Neville Crow and took a very well-judged mark right in the centre of the ground. He picked the ball up, he played on, he's bounced it. Sheedy wasn't ready. And look at this kick of Dederick. This has gone 80 yards. The wind was tremendous, picked up by Kevin Neal, and uh, the snap by Neal is not a very good one, and it is over the line and out of bounds. The free kick show that Richmond have had uh, 11, and uh, St Kilda have had 12, whilst the marks show that St Kilda have had 14, and Richmond have only had uh, 7. Taken away by Minor, coming out towards Mike uh, Perry. Perry can't pick it up, there's a chance now for uh, Young Trot, he picked it up with one hand, the umpire didn't see it. Breaking away from the pack of Bartlett, Bartlett's on the ground, the umpire said it's your free kick. He plays on quickly, drives Richmond out of trouble momentarily, and the ball nearly uh, bounced away from John Perry's kick. Sittwick can't pick the ball up, but Kennedy can, and Kennedy's kick is a wild and woolly one. Out towards centre-half forward, where we see uh, young Swarsman come out of the ball, circles his way out of the pack, gets the left foot to it, a chance for Travis Page, the umpire says no mark, and Roger Dean is grabbed by Trot, caught with the ball, and I think the umpire says that it's against his body. No chance to get rid of the ball, I'll ball it up. A hectic few moments of play there. Some Kilda almost scoring in, the, uh, in those last two minutes. Dan Fish is going to ball this one up right alongside the point pass. Neville Crow taps down very nicely. Ball Richardson just inside the line, kicks the ball towards the uh, half-back flank position where Dudorich is positioning himself very well indeed. Takes a good mark. And another good kick by Dittwick right into the goal square. Oh, there's a pack of players, but no one showed any confidence in marking the ball. <laughs> there's going to be a ball out there. And Billy Barrett was throwing himself into play. Ball up. Why not tap down? Mike Perry races through, but Kevin Barber picks up with tons of pace, kicks towards the centre of the field. Oh, and bad play there by... Steve Roberts, he dropped a very, very easy mark, although he's a young player. Well, he's played him. He's played him the mark. Three kick again, Shooty, for knocking him over. Right. And Steve Roberts, it's a good kick. No one's here to get it. The ball are all waiting back. It's punched away by... A throw in. Why not? Another tap down. So. Oh, yes, he's... he's Given this one, given this free kick here to young Kevin Barber. Kicks a cross goal, the forward pocket, two St Kilda players here, one Richmond player over the heads of all of them and it goes out of bounds. We are three and a half minutes into this second quarter and St Kilda three goals, Richmond four, five. And uh, Richmond trying to keep some killer out, but there's Rossi Smith anticipating the knockout. He's got uh, Kevin Chinners on his hammer, coming in to help him as Tony Jewell. And uh, we see Kevin Chinners get Richmond out of trouble as he gets it over towards the centre wing where Swift gets the ball. He's being chased by O'Day, gets the left foot, uh, right foot to it. And Rossi Smith, four in in front of Steve Roberts, up fifth the chance for Mark, but Roberts picked the ball up, his kick is smothered by Barrett. Sheedy knocked him over once more, but he gets the ball away towards young uh, O'Day. The umpire says play on, and there's a chance for Bartler. Barton gets his left foot to it and Richmond up towards the half forward line but Burton Howell once more has got too much experience for a young heart. He's yards in front of him and uh, in general play he's easily beating Roy's heart. That's two marks in a row that he's marked on his chest. A good pick up towards the half forward line, no marks as the umpire. A bit unlucky. Ball picked up by Don Davenport of Richmond, kicks it high in the air, the wind will bring it back and a push in the back and a free kick to John Perry. James Moran, who is well and truly his master at the moment, because John Perry's only going to have his third kick, while Moran's had six. There's the chance for John Perry. Kicks it over towards the half-forward line. The ball is knocked away from uh, Northy, picked up by Bull Richardson. He gives it back to Northy. Northy settles up towards the four line. It's a shocking kick from Northy, and it's uh, his umpire's rule that went through for a point. Well, that makes Richmond four goals, six. So after five minutes of play in this in this second quarter, some Kilda who are using the wind have not yet scored and Richmond have kicked a point. And it's a valuable point too. There's a beautiful kick by Burton Howell, almost at the centre of the ground. The ball is knocked away from the pack and there's Freddie Swift doing plenty of pace, dashing in, kicking it up towards the full forward position. And we see Mike Patterson try to bring down a screamer, but he couldn't hold it and the ball flew through for another point. So Richmond a 4-7 and Kilda three goals.
Good passage of play by Richmond as Verdon Howe is about to put the ball back into play. A good kick by Verdon Howe, almost at the centre ground, looking for Ditrich. He's flying there in front of Crow. Crow punches the ball away, but Ditrich is in front and he takes the mark, and rightly so. Ditrich is a popular player with the St Kilda fans, as you can hear them roaring. Another good kick by Ditrich, as distance-wise. He's looking for Travis Page, has punched the ball away by Irwin, but picked up by Tony Jewell, who shoots it across here to John Perry. But, oh, beautiful mark here taken by Young Schwartzman, but it's not, it's not allowed as a mark. Kennedy getting Northey out of the way, but Northey back into the fan now, picks up a clever play by Northey, shoots the ball up towards Barry Richmond, who's, who's a long way out of place. Roy Park runs into trouble there, punches the ball away, but he has it on the ground, and now he's, he's awarded play on as Kevin Cheney chips him with a handball across here to John Northey. Mr. Northey's a light again. He lines him up. He shoots. And it's there to score. It is a goal. Great play by Northey. Great thinking by Northey. And Richmond have gone ahead with one goal, one in this quarter so far. That's Northey's third goal. Northey has had six kicks so far for the game and his opponent Kennedy has only had uh, four. Three goals to Northey, very valuable goals, particularly that one against the Breeze. We're 11 minutes into the second quarter, and Richmond 5-7 are moving away from Secula, who haven't scored in this quarter, and they're still three goals. A free kick to uh, Kennedy, and a 15-yard penalty against Richmond for running over the mark, and Kennedy is uh, on the half-forward flank, he's kicked down towards the full-forward position, right over the head of the pack, a chance for Neil, and that was snapped by Neil, could be his third goal. Good play by Neil. Saw the ball coming back to him, and that's his third goal from centre half forward. He's had eight kicks to centre half forward. This is the best game that I've seen Neil play this season. Uh, maybe he might be playing so well that Baldock mightn't be able to get back into the side. Oh, come on. <laughs> so we are 12 minutes now into the second quarter. And St Kilda are four goals straight. Richmond 5 7. And we're waiting for the knockdown. There it is. A chance for uh, Kevin Bartlett. Picked up by Minot. Minot gets it down towards the forward line. Roger Dean's well out from the back pocket. Gets his kick in a hurry, but kicks it into a, an opposing player and Kevin Roberts. It's a cross now from Kevin Roberts and Trevor Pays. Has a chance for Mick Irwin. Mick Irwin gets his left foot, but I think it'll go across the boundary line. It does this on the half-back flank for Richmond. Richmond lead by one goal, seven. Another duel, this time between Ditterich and uh, Patterson. Ditterich gets it across, but as you see, Mike Perry running into all sorts of trouble. I think he'll be uh, free kick here for not getting rid of the ball. He took a long time, my word. And umpire Fisher will give the free kick to Kevin Roberts. Well, Kevin Roberts is a beautiful kick, and he should not have any difficulty at all in scoring. Kevin Roberts coming in from the scoreboard flank. A left foot kick, a beautiful kick. This is right over the head of the goal umpire. A beautiful goal by Kevin Roberts. Well, some kill there. Being held down this year for their poor forward work and accurate kicking. How do you like this for a score? Six goals straight. Five goals straight. The next one will be yeah. six straight. That's the scoreboard. Seven points of difference. And we are nearly 13 minutes into this second quarter. A huge crowd here. About 45,000 people. I don't think there's as many as last week's game against Calvin. But they're all enjoying this great game and we see a free kick going to go against Richmond it'll be taken by Brian Minot Minot punched that ball down towards the half forward line it travels 50 yards but he has to have it brought back it'll be a free kick to Minot right in the centre of the ground he and Ditterich are certainly causing the Richmond Ruckman uh, Crow and Patterson and company a lot of trouble there's the short pass across towards the half forward line looking for Cooper but the mark has been taken by Kevin Shinners Shinners is on the half back flank for Richmond He's a boy that's doing national service up in Sydney. Comes down each weekend. It's out towards the wing. Barry Breen having trouble bringing the ball back into play. And it's across the line. 5-7 five, to 5 goals. Richmond 7 points in front. Nearly halfway through this second quarter. Oh, and Minot playing well. Beautiful palm down. Looking for Stuart. But missed him. Machidi chipped in. He was tackled. And there's a free kick. Going to Chidi for his trouble because he got rid of that one before he was grabbed. Drop some pass up to the wing position. Looking for Barry Richmond. He's playing out of form at the moment. And uh, Barry Breen kicks down towards Neil. Cheney in possession again. Grabbed around the neck by Ian Cooper. But Stan Fisher says...